the top 10 things to do in Tallinn. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to tell you about the top 10 things that you can do in Tallinn, the capital of Eston. With awesomeness around each corner, Tallinn explodes with charm like no other European city. The capital of Estonia soaks in history and it houses more than just its history. So without further delay, let's dive in. Number 1. Tallinn Old Town Tallinn's ancient town includes unending treasures for history lovers and culture sniffers. Known for being one of the world's best preserved Hanseatic town centers, the dynamic village-like range highlights cobblestone roads, lively cafes, and engineering from long ago centuries. Start your involvement at the town hall square, whereas you can be enticed to keep your eyes cast up at the colorful buildings. Look down until you discover the remarkable circular stone stampede with a compass. Standing on it gives you a very special vantage point to see the minarets of five memorable churches around Tallinn. At that point, make your way inside the church-like town lobby. Raised in 1404, the most looked-upon town lobby in Northern Europe gloats wonderful Gothic curves and valuable craftsmanship. Number 2. Seaplane Harbour, Lenesadam With more than 2,300 islands in its domain, Estonia has created a solid sea culture and there's no superior place to encounter it than at Lenusadam Seaplane Harbour. This interesting gallery welcomes visitors to step inside submarine EML Lembit, a 1930s-era vessel that's one of the few remaining submarines of its time. You'll moreover jump on board the Surtol Icebreaker and explode the effective streamers' captain cabin, group rooms, and officers' mess lobby. Hundreds of other artifacts shown all through the historical center proceed to tell the story of sea history in Estonia. Initially built to house seaplanes in Peter the Great's naval fortification, the storage highlights the world's first columnless thin-shell concrete arches of such volume. It remains in work until World War II. It's astonishing that the huge space requires no vertical underpins to hold its weight. Number 3. The TV Tower Tallinn Gladly standing 314 meters within the clouds, the Tallinn TV Tower is a must-visit fascination in Estonia. A visit to the observation deck on the 21st floor is one of the four most prevalent things to do. Visitors can get a 360-degree view of Tallinn and the Gulf of Finland. You won't need to disregard your camera when touring here. Craving for adrenaline surge? Check out the Tallinn TV Tower's Walk on the Edge experience. It'll strap you to a saddle and let you walk along the edge of the tower, open air porch. You'll be able to even dangle your feet over the 175-meter drop. Try a career in broadcasting news coverage and record your very own news clip at the TV studio on the primary floor. And learn more about the history of Estonia's tallest building from its development for the 1980 Summer Olympics at the TV Tower History Exhibition. Buy your tickets online in advance to dodge sitting around idly in a long line. Number 4. Tumpi Slope Tumpi Slope has continuously been the center of control in Estonia. Different rulers of Estonia have changed the Tumpi Castle to their choice over the last 800 years, starting with the introductory stone structure built by the German Knights of the Sword within the 13th century and inevitably turning into a Tickle Me Pink Floyd royal residence. Cordiality of Catherine the Extraordinary It's presently domestic to Rigi Kogu, Estonian Parliament, which celebrates the country's autonomy by raising the national flag on the 14th century Herman Tower each morning. Tourists can take a free guided visit to the Tompi Castle in English, Russian, or Estonia on weekdays with reservations. You'll get to see the interior of the blushing building, listen to its story, and learn around the structure of the Rigi Kogu. Number 5. Alexander Nevsky Church The 120-year-old cathedral, found straightforwardly over the Tumpi Castle, oozes sacrosanct Russian standard fashion, with five bulbous onion arches delegated by overlaid iron crosses and a lavish brown and white outside. It moreover houses 11 chimes, counting the biggest one in Tallinn, which clocks in at a whopping 15 tons. You listen their sound ringing through the city for most part of the day. While wonderful and well-maintained, the cathedral hasn't continuously gotten a warm welcome from Tallinn. Numerous Estonians saw it as an onerous image from Russia within the early to mid-20th century and requested it to be annihilated. In any case, the proposition didn't move forward and the cathedral still stands nowadays. Number 6. Kadriog Park Alexander Nevsky Cathedrali isn't the as-it-were-only artifact of Russian impact in Tallinn. You'll be able to see it at Kadirog Park 
and the royal residence inside it, both commissioned by the autocrat Peter the Great for his spouse Catherine in 1718. About four kilometers east of Tall in ancient town, the lavish 70 hectare region is the go-to place for a heavy dosage of nature treatment within the city. Visitors will see blossoming bloomed beds laid out in geometric designs, an extravagant swan lake, a quiet Japanese garden, and an English scene park with an oak forest. More than just nature, the park is additionally home to a number of noteworthy structures, the foremost striking of which is the Kadriog Royal Residence. Built as a royal summer royal residence within the early 18th century, the exquisite three-level building was propelled by Italian royal residences of the time and presently houses the Estonian Craftsmanship Museum collection of remote works from the 16th to the 20th centuries. Number 7. Kumu Art Museum after you had an experience of Kadriog Park, walk over to the Kumu Craftsmanship Exhibition Hall, an award-winning institution that serves as the central station of the Estonian Craftsmanship Historical Center. It houses a tremendous collection of modern craftsmanship and serves as a multifunctional space for instructive programs and events. The main permanent show on the third floor offers sightseers the opportunity to see Estonian craftsmanship classics from the 18th century to the end of World War II. Included craftsmen include Johann Kohler, Christian Raud, and Konrad Magi. The works are laid out in such a way that sightseers can see how neighborhood craftsmanship styles changed in parallel with the Estonian mindset. On the fourth floor, a more recently opened portion of the Changeless Show centers on Estonian craftsmanship amid the Soviet period. The collection plunges into the numerous complexities of creating inventive works beneath the strict rules of the Communist Party as well as the changes that happened as limitations on craftsmanship facilities towards the 1980s. The lasting collections provide sightseers bounty to consider, but if you need an indeed more profound submersion in nearby craftsmanship, check out the museum's interesting brief shows. Number 8. Open Air Museum Encounter the way of life of Estonians for hundreds of years back to the Estonian Open Air Museum. Found within the Oceanside region, Rocco Al Female Horse, a 20 minute drive from the heart of Tallinn, open air, instructive fascination includes 14 branches that reproduce the way rural Estonian villagers and fishing communities lived for 18th century to the 20th century. Tourists can meander through many of the 74 buildings scattered around the 72 hectare property. You'll see a conventional schoolhouse. Oceanside fishing beds, notable homes, a fire station and windmills, numerous of which were culled from their domestic towns and brought to Tallinn. Tourists must refuel with national dishes like timberland mushroom soup, cornmeal with turnip, and salt herring served of mixed greens or salads. Number 9. Estonian Chocolate Shop and Workshop Best place to try marzipan in Estonia, Kalev Chocolate Shop and Workshop. Found within the noteworthy Rotterman Quarter, this dessert shop puts together tempting gift boxes of marzipan and carefully assembled chocolates, together with idiosyncratic marzipan figures in animal shapes. The shop also welcomes tourists to put on an overskirt and attempt their hand at making these claims treats with their workshop. This can be a really fun thing to do in Tallinn in case you've got the time. The two-hour hands-on classes are guided by an ace confectioner who will show you how to create chocolate truffles and form and paint marzipan utilizing century-old strategies. The Kalev Chocolate Shop and Workshop is just a short walk from the harbor of Tallinn. Number 10. The Tallinn Zoo Tallinn Zoo has the foremost energizing collection of animals out of all the Nordic nations. It houses giant elephants and rhinos, perilous predators, monkeys, polar bears, and numerous other extraordinary species. The Tallinn Zoo also has one of the leading shows of ibexes and mountain sheep within the world. By going by the Tallinn Zoo, sightseers can support species preservation exercises. By obtaining a donation ticket, guests can bolster the security of the imperiled Sumatran rhino and the imperiled little cat species, the Manul, within the wild. The zoo opens each day. Do you have some time left after visiting the attractions Tallinn has to offer? Then you can jump on the ferry and combine your city trip to Tallinn with a visit to Helsinki. That's two countries and two cities for the price of one. Till we meet again, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and keep your family safe. Thanks for watching. Adios.